the artifact that we're talking about today is a powder horn, um, but it's a very special one. If you were carrying a musket, you would carry the gunpowder in this powder horn to, and, and carry it with you so you could quickly load your weapon. This particular powder horn is important because it belonged to the sachem of the Mohican or Stockbridge Muncie community whose name was John Quinney. And sachem just means um, a leader, a very important person for their community. In the mid 1800s, John Quinney was a political leader. He negotiated with the United States on behalf of his tribe. So because this item belonged to him, the Stockbridge Muncie consider it to be an item of cultural patrimony, meaning it has taken on more meaning than just as a powder horn because it belonged to him as a political leader and an important person for their community. Uh, they believe that it really represents their community as a whole and that it belongs with them. And we at Oshkosh Public Museum agree, and so that is why we are repatriating the powder horn. And that just means it is being officially transferred from our museum to the Stockbridge Muncie community. First, we're going to start with a statement from the Oshkosh Public Museum. That is who gave us, uh, who is returning the powder horn to us. And we're going to have Anna just read a statement from them. Yes. Hi, everybody. My name is Anna Knizzo. I'm the Assistant Director and Curator of Collections at the Oshkosh Public Museum. Um, I'm going to read a statement from our director, Brad Larson. Um, he says, I regret that I cannot be here for this meaningful homecoming. However, it is my distinct pleasure to offer my participation through my trusted colleague, Anna Knizzo. I have been working in the profession since 1986, and my understanding of artifacts and their meaning and power continues to grow. Nagra is now 30 years old, and I, think, and I also think repatriation continues to evolve and grow. The return of the John W. Quinney Horn, as well as the repatriation of other cultural objects, has nothing to do with politics or pursuing an agenda. Rather, in my view, it has everything to do with undertaking what is right and honorable. The last word, honorable, is today considered outdated, even old-fashioned. But what that word embodies, how I live my life, and how I direct the Oshkosh Public Museum. While I would love to tell a story or two, and my staff would acknowledge that I tend to do that, <laughs> he does. <laughs> I'm afraid the time and place does not allow me to relate any accounts. Instead, I will say that in so many ways, I have been incredibly fortunate for I have been guided by countless experiences, circumstances, and people. My views on repatriation have developed over the years and were inspired by my friendship with the late Mike Hoffman, a member of the Menominee Clans Committee. I got to know Mike when we worked together on the exhibition, People of the Waters. I was nervous as we began to collaborate, but as soon but that soon evaporated, and in a short time, we formed a strong friendship. I was deeply influenced by Mike, as well as by his wife, Karen Ann Hoffman, also a member of the Klan's committee and a member of the Oneida Nation. I was deeply saddened by Mike's passing in 2019. However, in so many things, I continue to feel his presence and be guided by Mike's spirit. And remember, I remember his words to me. It is Mike's gentle wisdom more than any other factor that encourages me. The John Quinney Horn has, more, has far more meaning and significance for the Stockbridge Muncie people than it does for the general visitor at the Oshkosh Public Museum. I steadfastly believe bringing this horn home to those who revere and respect it and acknowledge its, its significance is a duty the Oshkosh Public Museum has embraced. A person's outlook and approach to any undertaking is formed by tradition, culture, and education, as well as their character. Each individual brings their own set of values and opinions, but the good news is, is that history demonstrates people change and that we can and should learn from each other. And I would advocate that each person should do not just what the log or given agenda requires, but instead to always act honorably. And that was Brad's statement. I would just like to add, on behalf of the Oshkosh Public Museum, we would like to express our gratitude to have had the responsibility to steward John Quinney's powder horn for over 80 years. 
We look forward to continuing and growing our friendship with the Stockbridge Muncie community and are honored to participate in this homecoming event. The Oshkosh Public Museum celebrates this day with you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Um, I would now like to invite our language manager, Molly Miller, to come forward, who will offer us a prayer in Muncie. Kola Mulsi. <clears throat> I would just like to mention, I didn't say that earlier, that I am a descendant of the Quinney families. My father was. We're going to pray in Munsi language. We have two languages here that we're learning, Munsi and Mohika. So this is Munsi dialect of the Delaware language. Anishiki Shalomokwan, Alamiliang, Young, Kwai, Kishpi, Wak Michawakan, Bula Melissa Wakan, Wak Wama, Alango Mayang, Wak Niwikian. I'm thanking the Creator for giving us this beautiful day. Um, Anishi Kishala Mokwang Alamiliang Kakuna Aki Wak Kishok Wak Nipahom Wak Alangwalak Wak Pepa Takwik. I'm also thanking the Creator for giving us Mother Earth, um, the Sun, the Moon, the Stars, and the Winds. Anishi Kishala Mokwang Alamiliang Tundel Wakam B. Asino wa kishon mitak wa pepa wa lashek mi husko wa wachapiko and that's um, fire and water, the stones, um, the trees, the flowers, the medicines, and uh, plants. Oh, I gave Away, ya yosak wak, awela shoshak wak, namasak wak, a kokasak. And that's our birds and animals, the fish and the insects. Anishiki shalamokwan alamilie, kohona, kohamina wak, kamohom sina, kokuna wak, kokuna, ni chano wak, kachosamina. And that's our grandparents, grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, children, and all of our family. Lapi Anishik Alamiliang Yonkai Kishquik Wak Ni Bemawa Wakasu Sawakana Anishik 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 And at last is thanking the Creator for this day and for all of our lives. Oh. And during the time that John Cooney was alive, he would have been fluent in English, but also Mohican, and so we invite Councilman Brock Schreiber to come forward and offer a prayer in the Mohican language. I'm happy to be here. Heather Onewe Ane Tapak. Thank you, Heather, that I have this tobacco. Onewe Kesan Mokwak. Neane Katnao Nakamak. Thank you, Creator, for this good day. Onewe Nyane Mawe Wa Wanneke Patoya. Thank you for all the things you bring. Onewe Ane Ma Yuete Noa. Thank you that we're all able to gather here. Ashkash Public Museum and done the main not no on the main yak Ashkash Public Museum we're happy to receive this gift no name and won't this good gift bon pont to not no on the my way when a month it did we pray for all those who are sick Nak kau fet no, nak mau wa on the way way on the minute fet. We hope that they get better. Ne way ke san mo kwa, ni ane kat nao nak ma. Thank you, Creator, for this good day. Kat nao ne way. Truly, thank you. 
So John Quinney was one of our sachems, so we're going to ask our current sachem, President Shannon Holsley, to receive it and place it into the display case. No pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure, exactly. difficult, you guys. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yes, okay. Well, thank you. On behalf of the Stockbridge Muncie Band of Mohican Indians, I'm happy to join you today, and I'm here with Councilman Joe Miller and Councilman Brock Schreiber, also with our cultural director, Heather Brugo, our language manager, Molly um, Miller, and Anna from the Wisconsin, or the Wisconsin Oshkosh Public Museum. Um, I, I want to say, Anisha, to those heartfelt words um, offered up in terms of the significance of today and the, the repatriating of uh, John Quinney's um, powder horn. It's so much more significant, and I appreciate the fact that she used the words of respect. And thank you so much for being such good stewards to something that's so significant to our tribal nation in terms of it's just not a powder horn. Um, John Quinney played a significant role historically in our tribe's survival throughout the years, and it's symbolisms like this that remind us how far we've come. From our original ceded territory out east to where we reside today, it speaks of the resilience of the people that we are, and it's our culture, language, and tradition that is seated in everything that we do. So today, let this serve as many symbolisms and many great relationships that we continue to share with people like the Oshkosh Public Museum and Anna and Brad and continue to do what we need to do to bring these things back because they significantly and inherently belong to us, but because they, uh, they hold much more to us. And it's something that our future generations will learn from because it's a historical a symbolism of relevance that allows our people to never forget who we are and where we come from. Thank you, Anisha. 